Yes, yes. Grim Scott coming at you with yet another video review. I figured I'd try a new type of intro. Give me your opinions on it. I think it sucks. And you just hate Journey. What if I do? You even hated Cinderella. We went to see their concert. You saying you hated Last Train. Yeah. That's not cool. Ah, uh, who's the one? Yo, yeah, no. I earned a ride. Yeah, right. But, yeah, as I say, and tell me about your intro. Tell me if you like my new intro. I'm not always going to use that something. Every time I do a different figure, I'll pick a song that either I like or I think defines the figure. Like, Cradle of Filth. When I do Matron, I'm going to play Hello Be That Name by Cradle of Filth. The intro to it. Yeah. So, just give me your opinion. This is the Transformers Prime R.I.D. Revealers. Voyager, Power Riser, Optimus Prime. And my god, that is a mouthful. <laughs> In my person. What do you say? I say he's undeserving of R.I.D. Huh. I thought you said that. Now, his accessories. He comes with this cannon thing. You push it. Lights up, extends. And a sword. So, yeah. Now, the figure is smaller and has a completely different transformation than the first edition. But, first, you're like, my god, this is lame. But it grows on you, just like the weapons do. At first, I hated these weapons, but after a while, they kind of grow on you. And the, pro the first edition's weapons do fit on him. But, yeah. The transformation for him is very fun, very simple. Here he is in his semi-truck mode, which is, like, what they're using from now on movies. He is red, with some silver right there. And the back is blue. Much like a C1. So. And does he roll? Yes, he does roll. He has an Autobot symbol on the grill. And right there. Turn upside down. He has VHS. And you can basically see the entire legs. Yes. And he does have weapon storage. Now, the directions tell you to put the sword like this, and then to put this on top of it, but I found two different ways of doing it. You can take the sword, do it like that, take and just put this beside the sword. So, yes. And, I figured something else out. Take you. Take swords, push in right here, and it's held in just by force, but it holds in right there on the bottom. And then this thing right here, all you gotta do is just push it and turn it. So yeah, I mean, it and it does still. Roll. He has clear blue windows. Forgot to mention that. But yes, I mean, he is significantly smaller than the first edition, though. Significant? He's the size of a deluxe. They call this crap a Voyager. Yes, I know. I agree with you there. Stern make me mad how Hasbro is downsizing. Well, the Voyager's this is what the Lux is used to be. And they're getting 
smell of it. And Lux robot modes really aren't, but the vehicle modes are getting teeny tiny. I mean, I'm starting to get sick of it. I don't know about y'all, but I miss the big figures. But yeah, transforming, it's very simple. So I take these flaps, I untab them, I take it, I just pull this up a little to where you can bring them down. You just want to push them up. Just like that. And that's going to form his back. That's what you want to do is take the top right here. Now in the first edition, this folds down and forms a heel in the foot. Which, uh, I, I kind of like what, I do like what they've done on this figure. So I take these back, push these up for now. And you really just want to pay attention to this right here. You want to take it, separate, and you see right here how this is coming up. Let me just like that. Then you want to take these, fold these things right here in, angle this up until it clicks, and just do it like that. Turn these 90 degrees. And just like that. Next, what you want to do is you want to just take the grill, flip it up, where you go in this head. Then this right here has two tabs and a port, two ports and a tab. You just tab it in onto his chest. And unlike the first edition, he does not have a fake out window. Those are actually the windows, which is pretty cool. At least they done that. I mean, scale-wise, the first edition is big. But this right here is a good figure. I mean, even not if you missed the first edition, I, I'd still recommend it, even if you have the first edition. Even you, Emgo. I tell you to pick this thing up. First, you'll hate it. It grows on you. There's lots and lots of molded detail from headlights to his chest. So you from the side, back. You just see that he's got lots of good molded details. Look at the top. Get all that good neck detail and everything. And light piping. Light piping is amazing on him. You just see that. So, yeah. Very, very good light piping. Articulation. He has a ball joint. It goes up to there. Yeah, 360. So, yeah. You get a pivot on the elbow and a pivoting wrist. And then you get ball jointed hips, thigh swivel, a good knee, and ball jointed ankles. So, if I haven't tried, you can really pose them very well. And with the shape of his feet, he's very stable. I mean, look at that. And just do the sword and see. So yeah, and he you can actually store his sword. You want to just take this right here and push it like that a little. You only need one side, then take sword and pop it in there. 
now he has storage for it, and he can actually draw it. And I take it, do his arm just like that, and There you go. So, very neat right there. Oh, damn. Ball to the head. Heh. <laughs> Sorry about that. Now, his gun... Is... It's okay. It'd be better if it would click out. I mean, I see what they're doing. They're trying to give him a transforming gun to where they could call the forge your line weaponizers, but, yeah, I mean, it's okay, I would love for him to keep the gun that fell over his hand, though, but overall, it's pretty cool, the gun really you want to keep right here, just like that, and then we put his hand in, looks like that, it's just okay, I guess, but I really would love, I mean, at the least, they could have took this hand and met fold down like ratchets, where you could just take the sword and stick it in like that. I mean, yeah, that would be cool, in my opinion. But they didn't. Yeah, Hasbro, you suck. You suck now. Yes, yes, calm down, calm down. We don't want to make them mad. But yeah, that's basically him. Again, very show accurate. And I do love his shoulder pads. I mean, first edition shoulder pads are good, but his are, like, really good. I like this figure. I like better than the first edition. Uh, I've already said it, like, five times. I first got it. I hated it. Now I absolutely love this figure. And you know what I'm saying about being about the size of a deluxe? Well, that's not a good example, but still. Where's a good deluxe? I think I eat on me. That one, I just have to have on my shelf right now above me. But, yeah. He's small. Very small. So... Yeah, that's basically him for some of those prime R.I.D. revealers. Weaponizers for dropped his prime. Still not worthy of R.I.D. Yes, yes, calm down. I'm just saying, he's not worthy. Yes, we all know you love the R.I.D. line. Yeah, I was one of the best. Uh, I do like the way the trailer hitch forms, too. I mean, that looks pretty, oops, pretty neat. But, yeah. Amazing, amazing figure. Uh, I actually like it. This small you won't. That's it. Goodbye. Subscribe. Tell me how you like my new intro. And...